I'm going to be showing you today how M1 can provide for generation of quotes. This is my M1 dashboard. I'm going to be going to my M1, my favorites that I use all the time. And I click on that and I'll come down to quote entry, which is allowing us to enter these quotes as we go forward. I click on that. I get a screen that is for generating the quote and I can use our next number function to actually create the new number or the quotation. I can bring up my customer, PAT Patriot Forge. In this situation, you'll notice that it pulls up the people we want to deal with at those locations and also identify that this customer has no additional locations, but we could have multiple locations for different reasons and work with a company that would either be a very small company or a very large company. And that's the scalability issues with regard to M1. Now you might see that we have a quoter that defaults in there and a salesperson or salespeople that could have a split. Information that can be put on the top of the quote, the bottom of the quote can be entered here or used from a standard message file. We're gonna go over here into the tree and I'm going to select and expand this and see that we have things called quote lines, follow-ups, calls, memos, and attachments. Those are functions of our CRM system that we integrate throughout the M1 system. Now, in this situation, I'm going to click on new for a new quote line. And what happens now is we get a detail screen that's going to allow us to put in information that we want to quote to this customer. Now, I'm going to use a part that we already have, but I'm just going to start typing it in, C-R-O. And you'll notice it gives me a list immediately to find the part that I want to use. This one is the one that I want to use because it has a standard, uh, it's a standard part that has uh, pricing and that we actually are going to be able to ship this thing from stock. Now, if we notice, it loaded up the description and a special description here that you can see color can be used to make things stand out. As we go down, we can see that when we quote this, we quote this in a normal uh, range, 10, 50, 100. And we have some list pricing. This list price is $100 each. But for either this, cus this customer or a customer group, if they like retail or wholesale, we can get discounts. And those discounts could be applied to the various quantities. In this case, we have both a discount that's associated to a customer, but we also have a discount associated to the volume. So we have a 10% for 10 pieces, 20% for 50, and 25% for 100. And so we're taking the list minus the discount to come up with the revised price for these people for this part. Now, the idea behind this is that now we can get this information and present this to the customer and, uh, and, and they can determine whether or not they want to purchase the application. Now, if we notice, we also created a follow-up using our CRM function. And that follow-up is going to allow us to follow up with this uh, customer uh, to see whether or not uh, they want us to um, uh, produce this, these parts for them. Now, that's standard uh, part quotation, fine. Now we can do a special part that we've never made before. So I'm going to say that we're going to be using a, a new design uh, pin. And again, we just have to type it in and maybe the description, uh, new design. The idea behind here is the fact that we don't want to always have to create new part numbers and stay of them in our system when we don't know whether or not we're going to be getting this uh, order from this customer. Now, we might use the same thing down here, uh, 10, 20, and uh, say 50 pieces. That's what they wanted to get a price on. So we can still do that variant, variant quantities but we don't have a calculated price or a revised price. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, get a method either from a part template, an existing quote, or a job. 
that we've already built and make some changes to it. In this case, I'm going to use the part method. I have a template in the background that I've saved for a pivot pin. And there's the pivot pin template. I'm pulling that in, updating all this information here, and just in one click, pulling that together. And now you'll notice that I have some calculated unit prices based upon the quantities. And we get that from the fact that we have a process and materials to build this with. Now, these processes and materials can be updated, such as I went into the cutting operation. You can see that I have a work center, a process, and then standard factors, minutes per piece. In this case, it's three and a half minutes per piece. And I'm using these rates down here to add value to it. So when I come back up to the new design pin line, I can now see what those calculated prices are. If that looks good to me, I can then verify that down here. This is the amount of material, the amount of subcontracting, labor, and overhead. And if we take a look at the drill down, you can see that we do have that information here so that you can back up that information and the, val the validity of it. So right now, everything looks good. I'm going to say update revised prices. And that moves the calculated price over to the price that you want to be able to send to the customer. Now, in this situation, I'm going to be able to also, if I need to, calculate the lead time. When I calculate the lead time, I can say forward schedule it starting today and calculate how long it's going to take me to pull these things together and bring them out and provide that information to the customer. Click on OK. This lead time now becomes part of the process. And at this point in time, I can then go ahead and preview the quote to make sure everything looks really good before I send it out to them and make sure that there's no misspellings or whatever. And I can even have your terms and conditions on the back of the quote. Now, everything looks good. Right click, close it out. And now I can take and convert this to a sales order by just right clicking and pressing the quotation uh, wizard button here, which will take all this information and put it directly into the sales order for sending and providing that customer with this kind of job to make that.